Hey guys, what's up? So today I am filming a Glossier review. Um, I have been using their products probably since, oh, um, I wanna say 2017, summer of 2017, so about three years. I'm wearing my Glossier hoodie, um, which is really cute. It's like oversized. I just got that, that, I just got this, this summer. And it's currently, I think like 80 degrees outside in New York but I'm eating my smoothie. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's really melting with a spoon because <laughs> it was it used to be too thick, but I guess I could just drink it now. Oops. Um, that just shows you it's too hot to wear a hoodie, but I'm committing to it. I'm wearing it. I'm showing you guys my love for Glossier. Um, but the smoothie's made me a little cold, so You're curious that smoothie is dragon fruit mango passion fruit watermelon coconut water that's it it's really good anyway <clears throat> so when i was in high school i used to wear makeup every single day um, I guess I still wear some form of makeup every day, whether it's like filling my brows or mascara or something. But in high school, I used to like beat my face every day. Like I used to like full foundation. I used to use, use a lot of Urban Decay. I'm trying to think of what else I used. I just remember like Urban Decay being like the thing in high school in like the makeup world, like the palettes. Yeah, the naked palettes. Oh my gosh, those were huge. Use all that. I use like full concealer, full coverage, everything. And that being said, my skin was not as good as it is now. And I used to try to cover that up a lot in high school. Um, but I was really into it. Like I really have always loved makeup in some form. So today I broke it down into my favorites that I will wear all the time from Glossier. And I pretty much wear Glossier every day. There's only my skincare, besides Future Do, which we'll get into, is not Glossier. I use the Ordinary in Super Goop for sunscreen. And then I don't use mascara from Glossier. I use Thrive Cosmetics, which um, I have used Lash Slick before. And I will tell you what I think about it later, but considering I don't use it anymore, it's not my favorite. Um, but I'm breaking it down to things I wear every single day. And then honorable mentions, like things I won't wear every day, but I really love. They're just not like an everyday product. And then things I probably would buy again. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've tried, I think almost every single thing in their makeup line. I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried anything really in their skincare line. So this is just makeup. I've tried their Future Do, which I don't know if it's skincare or kind of makeup, it's kind of in between, but we will get into that. Okay, so first we're starting with things I wear every single day. Um, there's a loud cicada outside. Um, I like my top, top, top things I wear every single day are Boy Brow and Lash Slick. So, not Lash Slick, not Lash Slick, Brow Flick. That kind of sounds similar. Brow Flick. Brow Flick and Boy Brow are my two products I use every single day, um, especially Boy Brow. I've used one of the longest. It was actually the first product I ever bought from Glossier, and I'm sure that's probably a lot of people's experiences because I feel like they're really well known for boy brow. But, um, sorry about that. Um, it's just the, the boy brow, I feel really just keeps your eyebrow hairs in place, and then you can kind of, sc not sculpt, but like really like shape the end of the brow. And this is kind of the routine I've been doing for a few years now. Um, and I really love these products. I find brow flick sometimes runs out kind of quick and I'm like, oh, I wish it lasted a little longer, but I love the product and it really does not come off. Like, it, like I find that you kind of have to like, not like with makeup remover, but like if you're without makeup remover, it's definitely difficult to come off, which is nice. Okay, so the next product that I use every single day is Cloud Paint. I have four different shades and I have it in Dusk, Beam, Storm, and Dawn. And 
I was hesitant to say I wear these every day just because with wearing masks now, I don't necessarily wear them every single day just because of the mask being here and if it rubs up all day then like it gets the blush all over by the end of the day and I'm trying to limit any mask me that is happening but I really love these um I would say I mean you can see it but like these are almost gone this is beam and dusk and then storm and dawn are just like I haven't used them as much dawn is my newest one and it's just with Storm and Dawn, they're so dark for my skin tone that I need to use like the most minuscule amount to make it look good. Um, if I use too much, I will look like a clown. Um, but I don't know. For a while, Dusk was my favorite and maybe it's just because of summer. I don't think I really got in tan all the summer, but it's really, it's really not showing up on my skin that much. I find that it's really just not, doesn't not there but beam is my favorite that's what i'm wearing right now that i'm wearing in the video that i'm putting on and beam is just like a nice perfect little like peachy pink i really love it but yeah i mean i don't i don't know why i'd ever go back to wearing a powder blush like, i love these so much and i think something that helps the look of these is that dewy skincare is so in right now and dewy skin is so in so it's just like oh it's another liquid you're putting on it's really nice i just i love it i absolutely love cloud paint the next thing that i wear every single day are the bomb.com lip balms oh my goodness these i really do wear every day i have almost all of them the only two i don't have are mint and original not the biggest fan of mint it's okay like it'd probably be the next one i get but then again I also kind of want original, the unscented one, just because I do wear them to bed a lot and sometimes I just want like a nice, like like almost like a lip mask. And honestly, I have tried so, I don't like so many, but like a few different lip balms, like I tried the one from Sugar and stuff. And I don't know, I just, I love these the most. Like I know some people say with the ingredients, like it doesn't penetrate your lips. Like, it doesn't really hydrate them, but I, like, my lips are smooth after I use these. Like, they are, they are good. I wore it last night to bed. Mm, my lips, ugh, they feel great. Um, I would say my favorite ranking, though, within the ones I have are, I don't know, it's hard to pick a first, first place because some of them have tints and, like, I like that for a different reason. But going backwards up, let's do that. Cherry, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess cherry is my least favorite only because I don't like cherry. Like I hate cherry flavored things. I only like it because of the tint. Like I love the red tint and it's like, it's very cherry. Like you gotta like cherry to like the scent of this one. It's very strong, but if you like cherry, you like it. But I mean, I bought it because of the tint. That's really why I bought it. And then I'd say my next up is either mango or rose. I, mango was the first one I ever bought. It was new that summer when I had bought it. Um, rose, I like because it's clear, but it, it really, I don't know. It just, I don't love the scent. I don't know. I'm a huge flower. Like, I love flowers. I love rose scents and things. It's just, I don't know. So I guess I do rose next and then mango. Mango says it's tinted, but it's not really tinted. Um, then we have my last three. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go berry next. I love berry. It's just very dark and I can't wear it all the time. Um, it does fade, but the scent is impeccable. It's amazing. I adore this. I love berries. I think it was the second one I bought. This one is amazing. And then funny enough, birthday and coconut are my next up. I don't know. I love these both. Coconut's my newest one. I just bought this. It, uh, they're very similar. Just this is sparkly. And the packaging's beautiful, but you can see mine's wearing off because I've kept it in my bag for so long. I don't know, man. Okay, coconut's next up. And then my favorite's birthday. This tastes amazing. I want to eat this. And the sparkles are nice. Not too crazy. Beautiful. We love it. Love it. My last thing that I put in the wear every day category that I love that I'll probably continue buying are my two highlighters that Glossier has, um, Halo Scope and Nightshine. Now Nightshine I bought first um, 
and I used to wear this one every single day. And then I bought Halo Scope because it's like an iconic Glossier product. And I think I wear Halo Scope more. I know I'm really not into like the overpowering highlight trend, which I want to say is not even really a trend anymore. That kind of was like a few years ago. But I love Halo Scope. I like that it's just a dupey little thing. I love it. And then this one I also love. But it's that shimmery, shiny kind of liquid. It's it's liquid. It's um, it has a little applicator like this that um, you use. So yeah, I would say I would purchase these both again, and I wear them on days I can. Same with the cloud paint. If I can't wear the cloud paint because of my mask, I probably won't wear these either. But on a normal day, I would totally wear both of these or one of them. So next up, we have the honorable mentions category, which is pretty much products that I would purchase again, but I just don't wear them every day. They're like, you know, eyeshadow or eyeliner or things like that. So to begin, we have one of my favorite products, which is Future Dew. I love Future Dew. And I don't know why, I don't know if you guys can see, you can see, like I'm only used like that much of it and I've had it for, I've had this for a long time. Oh my gosh, I've had it since I think May and it's August now. And I wear it a lot. And I thought I was running out of it, I couldn't, see in the bottle and it's like, oh, let's order another one. So I've had another extra lying around and I haven't even used like half of this yet. You you use like the tiniest little bit and it really goes a long way. And I don't use any of my forehead really, I'll use, like tiny, tiny bit, just because my forehead's already kind of oily and I don't want to add more oil to it. I'll look really shiny. My first on my forehead, I don't really want that. But I love this. I was like really intrigued by it. It's just the packaging is beautiful. And I was really intrigued by it for a while and I just bought it and it was a good decision. It's really pretty. I think I thought it was more like sparkly, which if you do, I don't think you can see, but like sometimes on the nozzle here, you can see like a trail of almost like glittery stuff. Like, yeah, you can kind of see it right there, but it's really not glittery or sparkly, sparkly at all. It might have like micro specks in it, but you're not like sparkly, but I do really love this. And the reason I put it in honorable mentions is because sometimes dewy is not the look. Like I wear it on certain days, but I don't wear this every day. I'll probably wear it a few times a week, but definitely not every day just because it's not, sometimes you don't want to look super dewy. It's just not the vibe. So next up we have Generation G and I actually only have this in zip, which is the red color. And again, same reason as Future Do, I didn't put this in the last category is because I don't wear lipstick every day. And again, with masks, I, I'll i put it on and I'll walk out the door like, what? why did I put that on? I had to wear a mask and now it's gonna get lines on my mask. But this lipstick, I slept on, I really did. Um, later on, I have Vanillic, Vanillic Lip. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I've actually never known how to say the other one. The one from the Glossier Play collection. I have that one too, but I had that one first. I have this one second. And I should've gotten this one first. I need to get more colors with this one, actually not thinking about it. I only have this color and it smells, actually, it actually smells just like the bomb.com that I said I didn't like, cause it's also rose scented, but I like it better in this lipstick. I know fragrance is like bad, but it just smells so good. I don't use fragrance in any of my skincare. Actually, I guess Future Do has fragrance. But nothing else. But this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love it. And it's like, I prefer this type of lipstick. It's like matte, not like matte, matte, not like a liquid matte, I can't do that. But this is just like the perfect, you feel like it's weightless. You don't even know you have anything on. It's amazing. I just wouldn't wear it every day because I don't wear lipstick every day. Okay, moving on, as I was just talking about, I have vanillic lip, it must be vanillic. I just think it was vinyl lip and then I looked at it and I was like, no, it's not it. But anyway, I have Disco and Pony. I think I definitely wear Pony more, which I don't have these in the other video, but it's a kind of nude kind of shade. And as you can see, there's some of the product coming out of there because when you pump it, sometimes it takes a little long to come out, but this one's more of a neutral. And I think I got this one because the reviews, like most people have this one. 
And then the other one I have is Disco. My only complaint about these guys is that they don't last long at all. Like they're probably on for an hour tops and then they wear off. But if I have something I, I want to put on my lips and then I kind of leave, go out, I'll wear this one. But in terms of lipstick, I do think I like Generation G better. I think that Generation G has been out longer, like a lot longer in their collection. And I go off reviews so much. So like these have better reviews, but they've been out for a short amount of time. It's like, oh, I'll get these first. But Generation G is definitely my favorite lipstick out of Glossier's and I definitely need to get some more shades. So last up in this category, we have eyes and um, next up we have color slides. So I have this in three shades. Um, I have, what shades are these? I have Brack, which is the, I guess it's brown. Maybe it's like a brown black. That's why it's called Brack. I have Early Girl and then I have Hardcore Velvet. Hardcore Velvet was my first and it was because I was really getting into like colored mascaras. So I was like, oh, this will be fun. Like it's, it's like a dark, oh my gosh, this is like a, it's called hard oh my gosh it's called hardcore velvet but it's really like it's like a dark teal it's more green in person than it's showing up on camera and i don't i kind of forgot i had this one i just found it and i was like oh yeah because i've been using these more but i really don't wear eyeliner that much anymore but i like these as a product i find they stay well i'm just really not used to using pencil eyeliner like all in high school i used liquid i used like um, like a pen almost, but I really love this shade. This is like so fun and beautiful and I'll put it in my waterline and it just like, it makes my eyes pop. Like I think this is beautiful. It reminds me of, I don't know what, like sea foam, like a sea foam, beautiful, beautiful color. And then I just like eye products like, um, eyeliner or even mascara. My mascara is black right now, but even like brown, like, I don't know. I like those more like natural tones. So that's why I got this one and not black, but it looks pretty close to black. I guess you can tell it's brown. I think I also wear this one not that much. I definitely wear this one the most. And it's really fun to even do like a regular wing with this. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. So next up in this category, um, I forgot I also have the concealer in this category, which I will do next, but um, our Lid Star, I have these in three colors. I have them in Cub, Moon, and Fawn. And I got Fawn most recently. I think I got this in my last package that I had, like in June, I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is my newest one. These two are my first ones. I definitely use Moon the least, just because I it doesn't show up that much. Like I could wear it every day, but it's not that, I'll do like a little um, swatch on my hand. But yeah, I used, um, I used Cub in the tutorial today. Um, I definitely, I think use Cub the most, but if I'm being completely honest, I haven't used Fawn because I forgot I had it. I just saw it today and I was like, oh yeah, it must've been hiding in my makeup drawer. But I love this one too. It's just for different occasions. So on the top is Moon and you can see it's like very sheer. It doesn't show up at all. And then you like would, you know, you move this around and it spreads out and then um, cubs in the middle and then fawns on the bottom. This it's almost like a purpley gray metallic, um, but I definitely use these two the most. But yeah, you kind of would like move them out and then it's just a little, a little shine. But I think that, I think fawns the darkest. Here, I'll mix them up. I think fawn shows up the most. Yeah, I can see it's still the darkest. I like them. I like them a lot. And then lastly, we have the stretch concealer. I have mine in the shade G11. And this was also in my most recent purchase. Um, it's, I just, I've been wanting to try their concealer and foundation for so long now. I just, I think that because stores haven't been open, I've been like, oh, well, I don't want to get the wrong shade online. Like I rarely buy concealer to begin with and like, let alone all online where I can't see it you know, in person and know my shade. So I, this, this was a good shade. I definitely chose a good, good one. And I'm, again, I'm not someone who tans in the summer, so I don't really like have to get a different shade in the summer that I do in the winter. I'm kind of the same shade all year round. Um, but I think if you like Glossier products, if you know that it's like a no makeup makeup look, 
you're gonna like this. It's a no makeup concealer. It's not a full coverage, but it, that's why it's good, I think, with Glossier because you're not like, you don't have this full coverage and then this not full coverage concealer. You have all this very like sheer stuff and then you have this beautiful sheer concealer to go on top of it. I like it. I personally like it. I think it lasts a while too. I just will usually tap a little underneath my eyes. I don't have any on today, but I do have some on two blemishes I have over here and then one over here. That's usually what I use it for. Um, but I do love this. I do indeed love it. I just don't wear it every day depending on how I feel. Um, I don't know how many blemishes I won't wear it. If, I, if I'm feeling tired, I will wear it. So it really just depends on the day. Um, that's really what dictates that. Okay, so last we have the um, wouldn't purchase again. And not that I dislike the product, it's just something I don't really wear as much. So to begin Lash Slick, I wouldn't buy this again, probably just because I found mascaras that work for me better. Um, I did love, I wore this like, this is like, this is like dry. Like this is, I use this till the very end. I love it for bottom lashes. Like it really is really great at like separating them and not being clumpy and just looking beautiful and wispy. And I love the look it gave the bottom lashes, but I feel like I need to use a lot of it. Like I need to put a lot of layers on of it. And it does give you that separate like each individual lash look, but I don't know. Probably wouldn't purchase it again. Next items I wouldn't purchase again. I know like shocking, I wouldn't purchase the lip gloss, which is like, Classy lip gloss, iconic, I know. And I have it in the red and the clear, and it's just, I like the formula, I like it. I just don't wear lip gloss. I wear my hair down a lot, it sticks to my lips, and I know that's what lip gloss does, like, it's sticky. But, I don't know. I don't think I'd purchase these again. The sparkly one is tempting, it's tempting. But I just am not a lip gloss person. So if my hair's up, maybe I'll wear these once in a while, but I probably wouldn't purchase one again. I definitely wouldn't use it till it was empty. And the last products, I don't know. I'm on the fence about these. I'm very on the fence about these. So the new Skywash colors. And I don't know the shades these are. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. Okay, so I have this in Valley and Pool. And... I can't remember. I think these were in a recent-ish purchase. I mean, they must have been because they're the, like, the newest, one of the newest products Glossier came out with. And I was really tempted by this one. And I was like, oh my gosh, blue eyes, like this beautiful matte blue. I'll do another swatch um, for you guys. Um, this one, the color is really pretty. It's just, and I've worn it a few times. And it's not like it fades off during the day. It's pretty good at staying on. You can see that like, it's like a beautiful pastel blue. Like it's a really pretty color. But I almost feel like it, I don't know. I think it's just on a, it's a me kind of thing. Like it just clashes with my eyes. Like, I don't know. I don't know if my eyes, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. And then I have Valley, which I definitely wear more. I'm wearing it today as a base for the Lid Star. Um, so it depends on the color if I would buy it again, I think. I don't think I'd repurchase Pool. Let me see there. But possibly this color. Because I think almost this is nicer to wear with blue eyes because it like contrasts, it's, you know, orange and blue, which is like nice. I think it makes it pop more. Whereas this is, I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure about this one. But I do really enjoy this one. So that's that. Depends on the color if I'd buy one again. So it's not like I wouldn't purchase again. It's just... That looked kind of funky on me. I wasn't sure. But yes, that is my full Glossier review. Everything I've purchased, I believe. I think there's nothing I'm leaving out or nothing I've even like used once and then, you know, gotten rid of and had. I think I've had, I think I have everything. Cause I even have my lash like here, which is empty. I don't know why I still have the container, but I guess it's useful for today. But yeah, I think I've, that's everything I've used. And I am so excited to see what Glossier continues to come out with. They actually came out with this hoodie today in a, like a white, like speckled. And I'm really tempted, but 
I just don't know. If you're wondering, also, this is what the hoodie looks like, like the rest of it. It's pretty oversized. This is a small, I definitely come up with an extra small, but this is just like the coziest of the cozy. So I went with my like typical size, size down. I mean, they're all oversized. They're probably all gonna be big on you no matter what. That's the point of it, but I love it. I can't, I got it in June, so I haven't really gotten to warn it, like actually in like cold weather. So I'm really excited for that. So stay tuned guys. I am so happy I'm at 250 subscribers. I'm a quarter of my way to my goal. Please, if you haven't subscribed to see more videos like this, my next video I'm planning is a Madewell favorites. So if you like Madewell and fashion and fitness and theater, then stay tuned because that's what you're gonna see here. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.